Hello, happy believers. The people went to Samuel and said they wanted a king, which distressed Samuel. But God said to Samuel, It is not you they have rejected, but they have rejected me as their king. It was not enough for the people to be led by God and to have God as king. God listened to his people and gave them Saul, the first king. Saul was 30 years old when he became king and he reigned over Israel for 42 years. In 1 Samuel chapter 12 verses 14 to 19, Samuel said to Saul, If you fear the Lord, be in awe of the Lord and serve him and obey his voice. And if you do not rebel against the command of the Lord, and if both you and the king who reigns over you follow the Lord your God, then all will be well. But if you disobey the Lord and rebel against his command, then the hand of the Lord will be against you, as it was against your fathers. Saul would have to work together with God and Samuel to secure the promised land. Job says in Job chapter 1 verse 21, I was born with nothing and I will die with nothing. The Lord gave and now he, he has taken away. May his name be praised. What the Lord gives, he can take away. Saul was given instructions from God through Samuel the prophet, but Saul was not a person after God's own heart. He did not follow instructions. He had no patience. He acted hastily. He was not obedient. He was more interested in pleasing the people and giving in to his own fear. Saul disobeyed God, first regarding the sacrifice and second how they were to attack the Amalekites. He made up his own rules and never consulted God and he had no luck for it. Then the word of the Lord came to Samuel saying, I regret that I have made Saul king for he has turned away from following me and has not carried out my instructions. So God sent Samuel to anoint another young boy who would in the future be king and it turns out to be King David. God does not necessarily need us as he will always find a replacement to do his will. But it is we who need God. When you read through the life stories of Saul and David, you will see the differences in their lives. Their approach to life is very different. David was obedient to God, but also at times struggled. And we can read that in his life story. David repented as Saul took no responsibility for his behaviour. Saul was not a contented person, but lived a life consumed with jealousy and spent his time hunting David, who meant no harm to him. David was full of courage, as Saul was full of fear. Because David listened to God, his life was blessed. He received God's favour and protection. There is a huge contrast in both their lives. And I think what is clearly seen is if we live under God's will for us, life is a whole lot better. To live a life of hope or a life of despair. That is also our choice today. The following scriptures show Saul's disobedience to God and how it did not work in his favour. All these verses are to be found in the book of Samuel 1. 
When Samuel the prophet grew old, he appointed his sons as judges over Israel. The name of his firstborn son was Joel. The name of his second was Abijah. They were judges in Beersheba. But his sons did not walk in his ways. They turned down, they turned aside toward dishonest gain, accepting bribes and perverting justice. So all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah. Look, they said, you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now appoint a king to judge us, like all the other nations. But when they said, give us a king to judge us, their demand was displeasing in the sight of Samuel. So he prayed to the Lord, and the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to the voice of the people in all that they say to you. For it is not you they have rejected, but they have rejected me as their king. When Samuel saw Saul, the Lord told him, Here is the man of whom I spoke. He shall rule over my people. If you fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice, and if you do not rebel against the command of the Lord, and if both you and the king who reigns over you follow the Lord your God, then all will be well. But if you disobey the Lord and rebel against his command, then the hand of the Lord will be against you as it was against your fathers. Saul was 33 years old when he became king and he reigned over Israel for 42 years. Samuel said, And you go before me to Gilgah and surely I will come to you to offer burnt offerings and to sacrifice peace offerings. Wait seven days until I come to you and show you what you are to do. Seeing that they were in danger because their troops were hard pressed, the men of Israel hid in caves and thickets, among the rocks and in cellars and cisterns. Some Hebrews even crossed the Jordan into the land of Gilgad. Saul, however, remained at Gilgal and all his troops were quaking in fear. And Saul waited seven days for the time anointed by Samuel, but Samuel did not come to Gilgal and the troops began to desert Saul. So he said, Bring me the burnt offering and the peace offerings. And he offered up the burnt offering. Just as he finished offering the burnt offering, Samuel arrived and Saul went out to greet him. What have you done? Samuel asked. And Saul replied, When I saw that the troops were deserting me and that you did not come at the appointed time and the Philistines were gathering at Michmash, I thought... Now the Philistines will descend upon me at Gilgal, and I have not sought favour of the Lord. So I felt compelled to offer the burnt offering. You have acted foolishly, Samuel declared. You have not kept the command that the Lord your God gave you. If you had, the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel for all time. But now your kingdom will not endure. The Lord has sought a man after his own heart, David, and appointed him ruler over his people, because you have not kept the command of the Lord. Then Samuel said to Saul, 
The Lord sent me to anoint you king over his people Israel. Now, therefore listen to the words of the Lord. This is what the Lord of hosts says. I witnessed what the Amalgamites did to the Israel Israelites when they amb- ambushed them. This is what the Lord of hosts says. I witnessed what the Amalekites did to the Israelites when they ambushed them on the way up from Egypt. Now go and attack the Amalekites and devote to destruction all that belongs to them. Then Saul struck down the Amalekites. Saul and his troops spared Aga along with the best of the sheep and cattle, the fat calves and lambs, and the best of everything else. They were unwilling to destroy them, but they devoted to destruction all that, all that was despised and worthless. Then the word of the Lord came to Samuel, saying, I regret that I have made Saul king, for he has turned away from, from following me and has not carried out my instructions. Saul answered, The troops brought them from the Amalekites. They spared the best sheep and cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God. But the rest we devoted to destruction. Stop, exclaimed Samuel. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Tell me, Saul replied. And Samuel said, Although you were once small in your own eyes, have you not become the head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king over Israel and sent you on a mission saying, Go and devote to destruction the sinful Alamachites. Fight against them until they have wiped them out. So why did you not obey the Lord? Why did you rush upon the plunder and do evil in the sight of the Lord? But I did obey the Lord. Saul replied, I went on the mission that the Lord gave me. I brought back Agag, king of Amalek and devoted the Amalekites to destruction. The troops took sheep and cattle from the plunder, the best of the things devoted to destruction, in order to sacrifice them to the Lord, your God, at Gilgal. But Samuel declared, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obedience to his voice? Behold, obedience is better than sacrifice, and attentiveness is better than the fat of rams. For rebellion is like the sin of deviation, and arrogance is like the wickedness of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Now the Lord said to Samuel, How long are you going to mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have selected from his sons a king for myself. 1 Samuel 16 verse 13 So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him, David, in the presence of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. Next painting, very, very soon. Watch this space. Until then, remember, we have choices. Please like, subscribe and share so we can all live our wonderful Catholic faith together in all its richness. Thank you.